after midnight on May 1st and I decided to go ahead and get a good start on Stitch Mania so happy Stitch Mania to all of you. Uh, this was actually my start from last year, Ye old Coffee Quaker Sampler, and um, I'll be working with it again for the next two days. I hope to make some good progress on it um, um, before I do a start, so um, I'll grab a little coffee to go with the, the stitching, and I'll see you guys over the next couple days. Alright, it's very late, but I finished this uh, motif. Um, of course, I've run into my a slight problem. I ran out of uh, one of the colors of threads that I've been using in, in this piece, and I don't know how I'll be able to get um, some more of it because it's kind of a no-name brand of Chinese floss that I got off Amazon. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll do to, to finish up this last little part of the motif, um, to match it up what, what it's going to do, but I'm ready to go to bed tonight and I will get started on, uh, this piece back in the morning. So good night. Good morning, Stitch Maniacs. Look at me. I'm in the car celebrating Stitch Mania. No, I've got things to do and um, making some deliveries today, but I am got my stitching out anyway. Um, so happy May 1st, it's a beautiful day. Um, and <laughs> on to the festivities. Today I'm gonna be working on the second part of the text from Coffee Quaker Sampler. So hopefully that'll be easy enough to work on in the car. I've been finding out that I really enjoy working in hand, um, like I said, when I'm working in the car because sometimes the cue snaps just get in the way and create more of an issue. So um, just a morning check-in with you guys and I'll talk to you later. it's good to see you again I made it back home and we're about to make some dinner before I can get into some stitching so um, I think tonight as this is May 1st we'll be having the traditional celebratory dinner for um, stitch mania for the modern family which is frozen pizza and yeah <laughs> the kids thought that was funny so um, I'm going to get that started and make a little coffee and then get back to work on Coffee Quaker Sampler. Okay, I'm finally sitting down for some stitching tonight. It's been kind of a long day. So far my progress for the day is, um, these words for the, the second half of the saying on the piece. Which is not a whole lot, but, you know, uh, it is what it is. So I hope to finish up the rest of that saying tonight and get another motif started. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the threads that I'm using for this project because I'm obviously not using the um, the called for threads. This is the first piece that I'm trying to stitch completely in silks and I've got a, a few varieties that I picked out um, online, you know, that I was able to get pretty inexpensively. This is some Krynik, um French silk, and I also have some other Krynik, um silk mori threads, which are not as nice as this, the French silk, I think. It's a nice palette of browns and mochas and golden colors and grays and um, I'm plugging away with um, my stitches so I'm gonna get started here and work a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing
Wednesday afternoon, May 2nd, and I am just um, getting some stitching time in this afternoon, um, and I want to show you what progress I've made. I've started on this um, motif, which is in the upper left-hand corner of the piece, so <clears throat> my plans after I fill it in um, are to take it and then do the motif right here and then kind of fill in and go back over to the right diagonally. I've really enjoyed working on this piece again um, and I'm definitely gonna have to pull it out um, a lot sooner uh, next time because I don't want it to be hanging around for next mania. It was exciting to start it again but it was not it was kind of, you know, my, my first official start for Mania is not till tomorrow. So I'm still waiting on that. Anyway, um, I'm going to get a little more stitching done and probably do one more update before it's time to switch projects for tomorrow. So see you later. Sit. Okay, I've reached a stopping point for the night. I finished up this motif and started um, the one on the edge, but that's where I got with Coffee Quaker Sampler. So um, I'm happy with my progress for the first two days of Mania, but I definitely want to be finished with it sometime in the near future, so it will be back in my rotation. Um, pretty soon I think. So I'll show you guys a progress pic of where I got and it'll be time uh, to start something new finally when I see you guys in the morning. Good morning Stitch Mania. It's now May 3rd and I finally get a chance to do a little start for Stitch Mania which I wanted to update you on. This is a little Mill Hill kit that I'm working on and I'd like to get it finished in the next two days but we'll see how it goes. I've put in a few stitches so far um, but it's so far come with some of my first impressions you know the kit came with everything including the needles and it's stitched on perforated paper which I haven't used before and it's a little bit different you know I, I don't know if anyone else has had this feeling but when I sew on it I feel like because it's paper it's somehow going to you know rip or tear if I don't do something or treat it the right way so I'm trying to be very careful but um, I'm gonna get some stitches in this morning before I head out uh, for things that I need to do and I'll talk to you later stitching session this morning so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my progress I've run into an issue already the kit um, came with one length of thread for this ecru color and I ran out of it and I still have 17 stitches to fill in there so I'm gonna have to cut a little extra thread for myself but other than that it's looking pretty good and I'm hoping that this will be a finish um, not necessarily by the end of the day, but the end of tomorrow. I'll work on this project today and tomorrow. with some progress on this Mill Hill kit um, for a little stitched uh, ornament and this is what I started today so I've added uh, two more colors since I talked to you last 
And my goal really today, um, I don't know if I'll be able to accomplish it or not, is to finish the cross stitching in the piece and then tomorrow hopefully to get all that back stitching and um, beading that's in there done so I can have a finish straight out of the gate for my mania. It's about time for me to wrap up this episode of a vlog, but I hope that you guys will tune in for the next episode. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye!